Okay, we're starting early because I really want to play. Happy Friday. Hell yeah. Okay. Thanks for providing a distraction from the BS that happened today. No worries. Yeah, I know exactly which BS you're talking about. I need to distract myself. If I'm being 100% honest. So I'm happy to help. Yeah, I'm going that way. A wild bee doof. Of course it's a wild bee doof. Okay. Yeah, happy to help with that. I need the distraction too. Hey, welcome back to Pokemon. Um, we're gonna head to Eterna City, I believe we need to go. I think I have a different type of Pokemon. Uh, I guess a quick update on the team. Uh, we've got Rusty the Bidoof, Belle the, uh, Badoo, Frankie the Cricketoon, Birdly the Starly, Bryson, the Shinx, and Ralsei, the Piplup, because happy feet, dumbass. You know, actually, I'm gonna stick this in the party. We'll swap out Rusty. I don't really need Rusty. Yeah, we're gonna try to hatch the egg. It's probably not gonna happen today, but that's fine. But I'm more than happy to be a distraction from real life. Real life fucking sucks. She's got her own Badoo. I'm a fucking star. -y. Some of these blueberries don't taste very good. And that makes me sad. I'm so... <laughs> Has blueberries. I'm so happy! Some of them don't taste good. I'm so sad! <laughs> now we're gonna swap out to Frankie. Dun -dun 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 -dun. But I I've got some BS that I need to distract myself from, too. Um, just with everything with the union that's been happening over the last few days. I got banned from the Union Facebook group. Well, I got suspended. Which means I can't comment until, like, next week. It's so fucking stupid. Level up. Absorb? Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Growl. Yay. Bruh. Oh! Birdly's evolving! Let's go! Got a Staravia! Nice. Let's learn about Staravia. They live in forests and fields, squabble over territory, occur when flocks collide. Nice. Awesome. Oh, we doing a double battle. We're the strongest in our class. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? Lol. You think you can raffle stomp me? Liv and Liz. 
pick up Pachirisu. They have Pachirisu. They're like... <laughs> like... They're like the neurodivergent kids, like... Nyeh! Okay, Birdly's not gonna last out here. Uh, we'll send out... Shit. Send out Bryson. Uh, no. We'll start using Fury Cutter. Also, I got to play some Animal Crossing this morning. Um, and... I, I just wanted to do it off stream. And Nan is gonna move to my uh, to my town this week, so I'm probably gonna stream that. Oh God damn it! Okay, I guess that's fine. Okay, we'll um, fight that one, and then we'll use Struggle Bug on the other one. Oh, Struggle Bug hurts both. I didn't realize that. Um. So Nan's gonna be moving to my island. And then I took a boat tour with Captain, and I went somewhere where it was, um, where it was snowing, and I got a new fish. And I was looking at, like, the stuff that's available, like, as far as, like, fish and sea creatures. And it doesn't, it seems like I have everything that I can get for December. Rousey level up, let's go. Peck? Uh, yeah, actually. We'll get rid of Growl, because I have Charm. That's actually really useful considering grass types. Why is my audio glitching? That's fine, I guess. Okay, and then, um... We'll just use Struggle Bug again. Bloop, 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 bloop. Stop it! We're gonna one-shot you! Proce proceeds to only use status moves. Fucking hell. Finally. Get out of here! Ooh, Bryson leveled up. Let's go. Another evolution? <laughs> Checkmate! <laughs> Checkmate Christianity! <laughs> Bryson evolved into Luxio! Let's go. Let's see, uh, it rests its forelegs on others to communicate with rhythmic electric pulses from its claws. That's fun. Hello, item. Good item! Bullet seed. Nice. Oh! Ooh, we can do some fun things here. But uh, I want to heal. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Hello. Oh, you there. And I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Fuck yeah, I have. Hi, Marky! Welcome to stream. Welcome, welcome to Pokemon. Welcome to we're gonna do stuff that might break the game. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. I got a Jirachi. You're also playing Pokemon? Are you playing Pokemon Go? Put it in my party. Um. Take out Birdly. Nope, shield. Okay. I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. Why, hello. 
Hello there. It looks like you've played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? <laughs> ah, okay, you know what? Hug a legendary, I got you. Technically, it's a mythical, but whatever. My larger than life Mew. <laughs> this is fitting. Mm. It's very fitting. <laughs> I say it's larger than life. Um, we'll use Jirachi. I'll say the reason why I say it's larger than life. Um, if I remember correctly, a digital Mew and a plushy Lou legendary. Yeah. So my understanding is that Mews canonically are like um like a foot and a half tall, and this is two feet tall. I don't know how to translate that to uh, two measurements that make sense for other countries. Oh, it's only level five. It's a careful nature. That's actually really good. What does Mew have? It's got naughty nature. And it's level one. Well, good thing I'm... Yeah, we're gonna use Jirachi. Why not? Music here is really nice when my thing doesn't crackle and corrupt. Hell yeah, give me the boris. The injustice is strong with America. Facts. You are accurate. I have a combi and I called him Barry Benson. Nice. I, I'll, I'll show you what I've got in my party so far because I've got some fun nicknames. So I got Jirachi. I'll give it a better nickname. I've got Frankie Crick and Neptunes. I've got Belle the Badoo. Bryson is a Luxio. And Ralsei is a Piplup because happy feet, dumbass. And I've got an egg. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you. I tried my hardest. These water berries using the spray duck watering can. Fuck yeah. Would you like to exchange your berries for some stickers? Oh, right. For the Pokeballs. Yay. Worry. Thank you. Okay, anyway. Welcome to Route 205. Where can I... I know there's like a thing where you can like change clothes. Diglett is no opponent to Barry. He flies. <laughs> Diglett! Alright, we can get heal balls and stuff. Um, you know what? Let's get ten of the heal balls. And a premiere ball. Fuck yeah. That's good. He fly. Here's the thing, like, I know I got some, like, different outfit. Hang on. Imagine having the piss possibility of failing a Pokeball launch. You mean Pokemon Go? How to 
change clothes and hairstyles. You gotta get to Veilstone. You gotta get to the third gym before I can change into the clothes I got in the mystery gift. What the fuck is this shit? That's fine. We'll just go ahead and move on. Help, help, trainer. Can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. <laughs> the people dressed like space aliens. I got you, fam. Hi. Um, a small child said you were dressed like a space alien. I'm here to kick your ass. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. I'm starting to hate Diglett. The little Earth's reproduction limb just doesn't stay in the ball. <laughs> reproduction limb. I really like that that explanation. Reproduction limb. Uh, anyway, I've got an underlevel Jirachi. I think um, because my partner is playing through um through Diamond. I think he's um he's using Mew. Finally caught it, how should I call him? Reproduction limb. <laughs> or, or stubbornness. You keep trying to make my attack fall, but I'm using special attacks. This man is stupid. I want to, but game only says tell twelve characters. You you could call it you could call it call him stubborn or uh, hardness from the reproduction limb. Drachi and Frankie leveled up. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. You can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my work ski. That's right, the other work, ski, work key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Her chunk. Okay. Away we go then. I could call it miembro, which is like member in Spanish. That works. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What'll we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. By defeating him in a children's card game. I like the name Miembro, because that almost sounds like meme bro. <laughs> okay, uh, well let, let's let's kick its ass. One more ought to do it. Game basically says, what do you want to do with member? <laughs> I like that. That That's good shit. Pissing on the moon! Piss on the moon with your member. Oh, Drachi got swift. Interesting. Uh, Silco. 
Keep using Jirachi. I'm pissing on the moon! I need to, like, get an Eggman pissing on the moon announcement as, like, a sound alert. I think that'd be really funny. How do you like that, Obama? I pissed on the moon, you idiot! I still have the moon on my uh, Animal Crossing island. Oh, okay, so last night, um, because I had to wait in a line to pick this game up. And so, um, we got there kind of early so that we could sit and hang out, but then a line started forming. And I'm glad that we were there early because, like, the line was... It may have been all the way down to, like, the target to pick this up. And we were, like... They were letting ten people into the store at a time. And, um... So I let my partner go in just on his own so that they could let more people in. Um, and I waited outside for him to pick up our games. And um, so I, I brought my Switch with me and I was playing Animal Crossing and I actually got a few of the, um, the fall recipes while I was waiting. So that was cool. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you. Gives me the edge. No, it really... Your cohort didn't weaken shit. Yeah! I looked it up. There's like three different sets of fall stuff. Because there's like the regular fall stuff. Like the tree's bounty stuff. And then there's like the maple stuff. And then there's the mushroom stuff. And I'm just like, bruh, there's so much shit right now. So I'm hoping I can get all the maple stuff before they go away. I used to bring my 3DS to get all the Street Pass bonuses. Yeah, I miss Street Pass a lot. I wish the Switch had Street Pass. Like, because since it's mobile, it could do it. But they didn't implement it, and I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Let's go. If only I had some decent Pokemon. This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. That's a fucking mood. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh. What's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. No, not Barry! Oh no! Oh no! My combi! It's broken! <laughs> It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Got the work ski. Yay! Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. <laughs> they sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? I got a, I got a jar of his sweet, sweet honey. If you slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Oh, right. The, the putting the honey on the tree. That, that's how you get Munchlax or Combi or Cherubi. There's a lot of Pokemon you can get with the honey. But it's kind of a pain in the ass. I'll take ten. Because, like, you have to put it on the tree, and then you have to wait, like, several hours. <laughs> honey is usable. I thought I could only sell it. Yeah, okay, so this is the game that Honey came from. And what you do with the Honey... Um, let me see if I can find the example. So, okay, the normal trees are uh, verde, like this. But then you've got these trees that are kind of... I'm um, almost amarillo. Um, and you, so you put the honey on it. And then it makes a Pokemon show up later. I'm not gonna do that now. Cause like, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to play. Hell yeah. Ooh. 
the the honey on the tree thing is only in the Sinnoh games. Um, so just a heads up. I think otherwise you can use it in grass to make something pop up like sweet scent. What? No way, you have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser after all. <laughs> this is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Yeah, they just, it was just a thing in these. I played a lot of these on the DS originally. Uh-oh. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. The grunt. I need to play shield on stream, though. Like, I attempted a shiny hunt on stream once, and it didn't really go anywhere. I'm gonna raise my defense. I'm using special attacks. And it is confusion. I have to keep an eye on the time a little bit. Good job. It's being too easy for me. I stayed way too long in Route 1 because I saw Nicket and accidentally killed it. You have 25 Pokemon against level 14. That's a mood. So when I when I first got Shield, um, I did a lot of the wild battles um, in the wild area, like all the, the Dynamax battles. That's what I did, like the giant Pokemon um, because I wanted the Gigantamax Butterfree that was available at the time and I ended up so overleveled. Like, Sword and Shield, it's so easy to get overleveled. Yeah, it's it's so easy to get overleveled. And like, I understand how that can be a bad thing to a lot of people. I don't mind being able to kind of raffle stomp it. Like, I don't know, I'm okay with the... the the di the gi the di fuck words. Does Dynamax raid help you leveling up? Yes, it does, because it would give you the experience candy that you could use on whatever Pokemon you wanted. So I started using all of them. Like you don't get so from the di from the Dynamax raids, you don't get actual EXP, but you get the candies that you can use on your Pokemon to level them up. So. Because I did so many Dynamax raids, I was getting a lot of the candy, so I was able to level up my Pokemon really quickly. But some people, like, complain about, like, oh, like, you end up so overleveled. I personally don't have too much of a problem with it. Um, just because, like, sometimes with the older Pokemon games, like, you fucking fake out bullshit. You hit, like, a wall where you have to, like, sit and grind and... Especially in those games, it would be hard to sit and grind, or at least be very annoying. Um, but having stuff like the Dynamax raids, it's like, okay, if you got, if you somehow got a little underleveled, you could do a few of those and easily level up. And I'm kind of okay with that. It could use, it still could use some balancing, but I'm glad there's the option. Although I do wish that turning off the EXP share was an option. But to be honest, I would leave it on so it doesn't really affect me. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown, up, shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. I was spinning Pokeballs with my Pokemon. I was waiting them to automatic use it automatically when enemy was weak. Then I search on intimate and they don't do anything with human objects. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It would be cool if you could do that though. But yeah, like, they don't do anything with, like, potions. Oh, 
Oh, why are you leaving me? What do we got? Oh, she's got Perugly. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Um, I'm kicking its ass. That said, I am going to switch out. Actually, I'm going to switch into Bell so I can paralyze it. I like this the remix of this. Thief! How dare you? I wasn't holding anything. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use Stun Score. Ow. I'm having fun with this game. It's my first official Pokemon game. There's lots of things I don't know. I'm having this feeling discovered. Oh, the, it's your first, it's your first, like, it's your first, like, um, mainline Pokemon game? That's awesome. I'm glad that you're able to, to do a mainline game. Um, as I think I started playing the mainline games when I was in, um, when I was in elementary school. That was when I was able to start to play, but that was also when my parents started, like, having money. Wow, this per ugly is kind of kicking my ass. But I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, though. Um... Because, like, you know, Pokemon Go does show a lot of things about Pokemon and is fairly faithful, but there's a lot of deeper mechanics that get into it. Ooh, okay, yeah, because that sounds about right considering how um, Catholic um, Mexico is. So that, that makes sense. My, my dad's side of the family was like that, but with Harry Potter. And what was stupid about the Harry Potter thing... Okay. This was why I could never really get into Lord of the Rings for a long time. So, according to my dad's side of the family, me being into Harry Potter is horrible. And and your daughter's being corrupted and blah, blah, blah. But Lord of the Rings is okay. But yeah, I remember all the, all the Pokemon is the devil, all that stuff. I know that it was getting bad with Pokemon Go because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of churches that are Pokestops and people got mad that, um, people were, like, parking outside the church to, like, play at the gyms and stuff. And they're like, oh, the virtual Pokemon, they're, they're corrupting the phones and they're going to, like, release demons. And it's just like, what the fuck are you on? Like, I don't, I don't understand why people are that crazy about it. It's, it's stupid. But I'm glad that you're able to have a first experience with, like, a mainline Pokemon game. I don't want to say a real Pokemon game just because, like, you know, any video game is a real game. But, like, with one of the mainline ones. Um... I do think there's better games in the series to play, but um, that's just me personally. This can't be. I lost you, you annoying brat. <gasps> My happy feet. My happy feet is evolving. Let's go. Yay! It's a Prinplup! Let's go! Its wings deliver wicked blows that snap even the thickest of trees. It searches for prey in icy areas. Cause he's a penguin! Ooh, Metal Claw? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we get rid of Pound. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's freaking go. Oops, I messed that one up. It's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. O okay, bye. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. 
Aw. Papa! Yeah, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. <laughs> oh my god. They're trainers with Pokemon pajamas. They look so cute, right? Like, they look so not threatening. Oh, sorry. Ugh. They had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Oh, it's Friday. It's, uh, it is Friday. Okay, I need to go heal my Pokemon, but... I think since it's Friday, we can do a thing. If it still works like it did in the original. I hope it does. Well, the good news is since you're playing Shield, if you get Diamond or Pearl, you can get Jirachi. A girl with Eevee pajamas just challenged me. Too bad my overloaded Pokemon are going to kick them to the moon! On the moon! Bitch! No? Does it not work? What do I have to do? They're like, oh, the balloon Pokemon. Hey, can... God damn it, I have to wait till next week. Okay, so she talked about the balloon Pokemon. Drifloon was introduced in this generation. Drifloon, after you clear out the Windworks of, of Galactic, shows up here on Fridays. But if you took out Team Galactic on a Friday, it won't show up until next Friday. I have a bit of salt. How about a quick battle before I leave for a turn of forest? I mean, I guess. Oh no! My Drifloon! It's broken! Oh, you got your frickin' Ponyta. Oh, that's actually not good. Uh, we- we switching into a Ralsei. Speaking of Ponyta, um, this brings up one of the common criticisms of the Sinnoh games. Is that, um, fire types are really rare. Like, there's just not many fire types, period. And Ponyta is one of the other ones you can get. Oh, you're stuck on Route 4 because you want a female Eevee. Ooh. Good luck. Um. Do you have a... If you have a Pokemon with the ability Cute Charm, and you have it in the front of your party, it makes it more common for a Pokemon of the opposite gender that it is up here. So, like, for example, if you had, like, a male Jigglypuff with Cute Charm in the front of your party, it'll make it more likely that female Pokemon will spawn. I don't know if you have anything that'll help you with that, but just a thought. Yeah, if you have a- if you have a boy Pokemon with Cute Charm, it'll make it easier for you to find a female. What can I find here? Oh, Shellos! I'm not gonna use it, but I'll have it on my team. I'll have to send you, um, because there's certain Pokemon where if you have an ability and they're in the front of your party, it makes stuff happen in the overworld. It's been a thing since, um, Emerald. Since Pokemon Emerald. Um, I'll have to send you a list. I massacred the little girl and she just say, I've got your way and you've got my mood with a big smile. Oh my god. 
Yeah, let's, let's have a big smile on her face while we talk about cutting things. Shellos. It lives along bodies of water. Its body shape changed to suit its habitat. Okay, so there's two different forms of shellos. There's this pink one, and this these are the ones that live in the west side of Sinnoh. And then there's the blue one, and those live on the east side of Sinnoh. Which is kind of a shame, because I like the blue one better. What else can we find here? Oh, weasel! I do kind of want to complete the Pokedex. I'm not sure if there's any bonuses for it in this game. But usually completing the Pokedex gets you a, um... Usually completing the Pokedex gets you the shiny charm. I got it. Teach me about Bleasel. It swims by rotating its two tails like a screw. When it dives, its flotation sack collapses. So it's basically an underwater water tail miles of tails per hour. What else can we find here? Shellos again. Okay. I don't know if there's anything over here I specifically want to hunt for. So I'll go ahead and start moving on. Give me that. There's no mountain here, but I'm just a hike. <laughs> here goes. Hiker Daniel. Okay. With a Geodude. Geodude. Okay, let me switch into Bell, since Bell knows Absorb. I need to give, um... I need to make this Badoo be my friend. Because Badoo evolves with, uh, friendship. And I know leveling up helps with the friendship. But I don't really have any other way to do it at the moment. Jurassic leveled up. You know a lot of Pokemon. I have been... I've been playing Pokemon for most of my life. I know way too much. Um... Yeah. I, I know a lot about Pokemon. <laughs> oh, a Bidoof? Okay, we'll go ahead and switch into Jirachi. Growing up, Pokemon was one of those things that was kind of um, an escape for real li from real life for me. Um, I didn't really have a lot of friends growing up, and especially in, in elementary school, especially um, the friends that I did make were not good friends, like at all. Um, in middle school, I kind of started to have friends, but I was still kind of a outcast in a lot of ways, I feel like. And Pokemon was one of those things where I could, like, escape and have, like, a purpose. And, you know, I, I saw a video. It was, talk it was a psychologist, and he was talking about, um... Because there's parents that are like, oh, like, my kid is playing these video games and is all depressed and anxious and stuff. It's gotta be the video games. But the studies are showing that limiting your kid's video game playing is actually more damaging than it is helpful. And that's because the video games, like, if your kid is depressed and is playing a lot of video games and stuff, 
the playing a lot of video games is not why they're depressed. It's a, it's more of a symptom. It's a coping mechanism, you know? So if you want your kid, if your kid's playing a lot of video games and they're like depressed and stuff, rather than taking away their source of joy in the video games, you need to find out what's going on and why they're depressed and treat that. It's like, it's hard for me to make comparisons to anything else, but my parents did limit mine and my brother's video game time. Um, we, when it came to our handhelds, so our Game Boy Color, our Game Boy Advance, our DS, we were not supposed to play it in the house. We were only supposed to play it when we were um, in the car or on a trip, right? And then our Nintendo 64 and the GameCube at home when we had those, we were only allowed to play for an hour a day, like period. Um, and it did more harm than good, quite frankly. Um, that sort of thing does more harm than good. Just like that guy from Ready Player One wrote on the Alma Mac, video games make life bearable. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so if you want, if you want your kid to like, you know, not need the coping mechanism, you have to figure out what's going on with their depression. Is it... Is it, your, is it your parenting style not working? Are they being bullied at school? Um, you know, you, you gotta figure that out before you go and take away the video games and try to make them live real life. I don't know. The point of all this is, is that Pokemon is a very important game series to me. And despite the fact that I don't really like what Game Freak has done with it lately, it's still really important to me in a lot of ways. It's a long way between Flow Aroma Town and Eterna City, so let's battle. You know, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, parents think that they know what's best for their kid when really they're probably the ones fucking their kid up. What do you think about Legends Arceus? It looks really cool. Honestly? I am not very excited for Legends Ar Arceus. Um, like, okay, people complain about Pokemon being like, oh, it's the same thing every time, like they haven't evolved the formula, blah, blah, blah. But these kind of turn-based games is what I like. It's a formula that works, whether I'm playing it for Pokemon or Final Fantasy or whatever. So this, this is the kind of game that I like. Um, so Legends Arceus doesn't really interest me, you know, especially with it not actually being over, like, um, open world. Um, and honestly, I wasn't super impressed with the trailers that exist. I, I understand why a lot of people thinks it look think it looks really cool, but it doesn't it doesn't look like a game for me. Legends Arceus is some kind of Pokemon Breath of the Wild. It's more Monster Hunter. It's basically Monster Hunter, um, where you've got like these different areas that you go to. Um. Because it's not really Breath of the Wild. Because Breath of the Wild, you can go wherever the fuck you want whenever. Whereas it, with Legends Arceus, it's you get a quest and then you go to the specific, and then you get like in the specific area and you've got like this area that you're hunting for the Pokemon in. It's Monster Hunter. I tried playing Monster Hunter. I couldn't get into it. I tried. You know, um, I got it on the 3DS. Um, one of the versions that was on the 3DS. And I couldn't get into it, even though my partner and I were playing it together. Um, it's just, it's not my kind of game. And I think part of it is that, like, you know, it's got, like, the... It has a really hard learning. Like, Monster Hunter is really hard to learn. I don't know. The only Monster Hunter game I've played is Stories, the spinoff one. And legit... Although my understanding is that Monster Hunter Stories is more like Pokemon. Which is hilarious to me. You got your license? Yay! What? Which license? 
What license did you get? Hey, I'm not trained to hold back. Driver's license? Uh, Battlegirl Kelsey. Oh yeah, you can, you can drive. Congrats, that's awesome. You get. There you go. Have some celebratory ice cream. And Machop is dead. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see it. You're in a different class. Uh, since you're here, Tifa, let me uh, let me show you my updated team. Uh, we have Egg. <laughs> I have a Jirachi. <laughs> so okay, when you get to when you get to Flo Aroma Town, if you've got save data for Sword or Shield, you can pick up a Jirachi from an old man. If you've got save data from one of the Let's Go games, you can get a Mew. Anyway. Uh, Frankie Neptunes. Uh, Badoo. I want to evolve her. Bryson evolved. And Ralsei evolved. Um, Birdly did evolve, but I took Birdly out of my party. In favor of Egg. Man is like, hey, I got a Pokemon that wakes up every 300 years. Take it, right? Pretty much. Let's challenge this child. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Yes. Play with me. You're challenged by Picnicker Karina, who has a Piplup. No. I just noticed that with Jirachi, it was like, go on, Jirachi, I know you can do it. So have I gotten, is, has it gotten some friendship levels? Whatever, absorb. Oh, that didn't do shit. Joke's on you, I'm using special attacks. this morning I saw that um Viero's playing this as well he's already he was farther than me though and that was a couple hours ago I would like to get to the point where I can go to the underground and then I can do some of that like when I'm not streaming that's what's great about the Switch, is that I can take it with me to work and play during my breaks. That dude just streams hours and hours on end. Yeah, no, 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 I know. When I popped into his stream, he would already been streaming for four hours. And that was like around the uh, 10 something? It was 10 something. I don't know if he's still streaming. But yeah, he does, he does stream for hours and hours and I just do not have the time for that. It'd be nice if I did. But like, some of it's an endurance thing. But the other parts of it is just I don't have time. He is still streaming? Okay. Send him an uwu for me. Uh, let's see how are we doing. Nope. 
I found the female EV. I just have to not screw it up. Good luck. You got this. I'm sending you the vibes. Hello. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? So your name's Keish. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Keish, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? I got you, fam. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Thank you. I sent my heart, but dog of level. My heart, but dog of level 11. You got this. You, you and your heart, but dog got this. Oh, okay. So this is the Moss Rock. This is where you have to be to evolve Eevee into Leafeon. Doobadoo. Doobadoo, badoo, badoo. Uh, may as well. I'm out of D. Oh, by the way, Tifa, um, Marky is playing Shield, and it's his first mainline Pokemon game ever. <laughs> the Eevee killed Yamper. Oh no! How dare! Beware of the onyx. <laughs> You're not wrong. He's a... Uh, where you can catch Eevee. Goodbye, Badoo. You actually tried it. That's the good shit. Rumples. She's got a really nice animation. I'm gonna run from this, though. I don't really want to fight Wurmple. Oh, actually, maybe I should have caught one of them. Oh, well. We're just out on a power walk. Oh. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon. <laughs> Good shit. Good soup. What do they got? A Pachirisu and a Wurmple. Well, um, I'll use Swift. Because that hits both of them. Ooh. Dun, da -dun, dun, da -dun, dun, da -dun. That was a good move, Chansey. I'm impressed. Oh, you've got a beautifly. Interdasting. Okay. Well, um, hmm. I'll use Swift again. The music in this game makes me hyper. This might be my new Stim song. Big Shot, we don't know her. Diamond and Pearl battle theme, fuck yeah. Oh, you got a lucky catch? Nice! Um, so, um, I don't know if it works the same in, um, Sword and Shield, but I think... The more Pokemon you have in your Pokedex, the more, um, the more likely you are to get a lucky catch, I think. It tingled before falling to the ground in the first pop it caught it. Yep, that, that's a lucky catch. Nice. That's awesome. Congrats on your female Eevee. Da -da -da. 
level up for Jirachi. You've got more? Jesus Christ. All right. I'm calling her Luna. Nice. Speaking of Luna. She fell on the floor, but... I have Luna here. Let me put her cape right. I have Luna. She's best pony. <laughs> but this is the traditional royal Cantalot voice. It is tradition to speak using the royal we and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. Yeah. 2011 Cache was a total brony. I also have Celestia, but she's up on a shelf. Frankie leveled up nice. Sing? Sure. Get rid of Pound, I'm never gonna use Pound. With the news I told y'all I'm all happy I'm feeling I'm returning to streaming. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Tifa returns to stream, let's fucking go! Let me know when you have a... Let me know when you stream. I, I have been awaiting, anxiously awaiting your arrival. Pearl is sealed. When a trainer and a Pokemon bond is one, a wondrous power is born. I see it. I see it. I see you going down in defeat. Psychic Elijah and Psychic Lindsay. Oh god, this reminds me of like a whole like Pokemon theory that exists. If I remember correctly, the theory is something to the effect of um people are like humans in the Pokemon universe are Pokemon. They're just normal type. They're just really smart, normal type Pokemon. And that would make these psychic trainers like psychic type people Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm shooting for Wednesday. Nice. Okay, Wednesday. I'm excited. Why I have the option of attacking teammates on Dynamax powers? Battles. Um, you know what? Honestly, when it comes to, um, when it comes to double battles and stuff, you do, so like we're doing this double battle right here, right? I do have the option, like if I want to use confusion, I can attack my teammate. And there are, there are some strategies that you can do with that. Um, like if you want to use the move, like, okay, swagger is a good, is a good example. So swagger is a move. And when you whatever whatever you use it on your opponent and it raises their attack and makes them confused. So you could potentially use that on your teammate and, te and get them their attack boost. Um, so there, there's a lot of strategies that you can do with that, but the bottom line is that's always been an option if you're doing battle with multiple Pokemon, multiple trainers. You always have the option. Friendly fire is on. Also, Tifwa's not wrong. You might there is a specific trainer that you'll want to attack when you're doing the, di the, the Dynamax battles. Beware of Soul Rock. It is I that have gone down in defeat. That fucking. I can use Quick Attack on my teammate just because I can. You can. That is an option. There's some specific strategies that that can go with, but yeah, it is. You can. You know, I'm gonna try to catch the Wurmple. In order to do that, I have to take out the Badoo. Good soup. Ooh, Bryson leveled up. Let's go. 
spark. Oh, yes, yes, actually, please. Because, yeah, your attack is higher than your special attack, so we'll get rid of Thundershock. Yeah, so that's the other thing about the Dynamax battles. If, if four of your teammates faint, um, or if, if any of you, if anybody on your team faints four times, um, then the battle is over. So, so be careful. You fought a Dynamax Stunky and lost. Tried it again with the Magikarp for the laps and I won. <laughs> That's amazing. Good shit. Let's learn about Wurmple. It spits a white silk thread that turns sticky when coming into contact with air. The silk is used to immobilize foes. That's not gross at all. I'm not gonna use, oh, it has a berry. I'm gonna put it in my bag. I'm not gonna use Wurmple. Ooh, a great ball. Dynamax Magikarp is not so useless as it can block attacks. Oh yeah, because any um any not damaging move becomes like protect. S to the I to the M to the P, then maybe you can get moving like me. Happy belated birthday, you beautiful human you. Thank you, Warlock, and thanks for being, thanks for the Prime sub. Oh, and 100 bits that hasn't shown up in the notification thing yet. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Ah, fuck. That's incredibly sweet of you. Um, there's the notification. You get shout out. I need to join you guys in Minecraft. That just needs to happen. Thank you. It's honestly been really nice getting to know you and your community and everything else. Like, you are one of the streamer people I am blessed to have met through streaming. And that's another 25, 125 bits, holy shit. That's like a soda at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. I still don't know anything about natures and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, um, so natures. So natures influence stat growth. Um. Hang on, let me take out, let me think about what I'm doing. Okay, so natures influence stat growth. So each nature, it has a, um, it's got a stat that it buffs and a stat that it that it debuffs. Um, and then there's a couple that are neutral because of the way that it's calculated. Um, so for example, um, my Piplup has a modest nature. And what modest does is it raises its special attack, but it makes its um, physical attack lower. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Ghost Skipper. Thank you, oh my God. You have donated, you have gifted 13 subs so far. That's a lot of subs. That That's a lot of subs. Like, that's like, math, 13 times five. five. It's like $65 worth of subs, bruh. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so Ghost Skipper, I hope that you enjoy the, um, the emotes. I'm going to be getting some more emotes soon. Um, I'm waiting on two different commissions. One of them is for um, the follower emotes that I have unlocked. And then um, all affiliates got four more uh, tier one emote slots. Um, so yeah, um, so I've got another three coming. My brain is not entirely working. But yeah, thank you, you, you fucking sweetheart. <laughs> That's why I stat is red colored and the other is blue colored. So it's like you said, because my EV came out modest too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every um, every nature has a different stat that it raises and lowers. And yeah, I, I forget which, I think the red, the one that's marked in red is um, 
increased and the one that's blue is decreased. So Modest is actually a very good nature for a lot of Pokemon because if they just use special attacks, then they don't need their physical attack stat to be good. So usually um, the natures that um, raise or that lower one of the uh, attacks are usually the ones that are used in like competitive play. And they're, God, there's there's so fucking much to Pokemon. <laughs> and that's kind of what's beautiful about it. Yeah, so so that that's how the natures work. Um, it doesn't, the natures don't matter too much when you're just playing through a game. Like when you're just doing a playthrough like this, it doesn't matter too much, but it does matter a lot in competitive play. Um, because like if, like let's say, um, brain work. If you have better special attack, you're more likely to like defeat your opponent. But if they have a better special defense, it, it, it's little stat calculations that matter a lot in um, competitive play. The, the description affects everything. It says she's curious about everything. The descriptions, if I remember correctly, are very vague allusions to their IVs, their individual values. If I remember this correctly, so every Pokemon on all of their stats can get an extra buff on their stats from 0 to 31, I believe. Um, and it's just, it's random based on what you get, although it can also be influenced by breeding and stuff. Um... I forget which descriptions mean what, but later in the game, you'll be able to see specifically, like... Let me see if I can't bring up an example. Let me see if I can get an example. So, later in the game... You, like, you see, like, the stat matrix here? Later in the game, I don't remember when it happens, there's a button you can hit that can show you, like, where in the graph like it'll have like a boost for ones that have um that it has more ivs in a particular stat versus another um and i know that the the descriptions are a very vague illusion to which ones are boosted but it doesn't matter too much because you can look at the specific numbers later, later anyway so for example um jirachi is alert to sounds but I don't remember what specifically that means because since there's like so many numbers that can be influenced because like it could have any of the numbers in HP, attack, defense, speed, special defense, special attack. There's an, there can be an extra stat boost between like 0 and 31. There's a way to specifically see it when you get later in the game. So I forget what exactly the descriptions mean, but I know that that's what they correlate to. So I'll show, I'll show you more examples. So my Jirachi has a careful nature, right? So careful lowers special attack and raises special defense. Bryson also has a careful nature. Bell has a gentle nature. Gentle raises special defense and lowers speed. Frankie has an adamant, oh, adamant, that explains a lot. Adamant raises attack and lowers special attack. Ralsei has modest, which I explained earlier. There's a lot of different natures. The only stat that the natures don't mess with is HP. If I remember correctly. Welcome to my endless Pokemon knowledge. Most of my doubts will be answered later in the game too. Yeah. Um. I'm going to put a website in chat. So, Serebii.net. Serebii being the... um. The Japanese name for Celebi. Serebi.net is an amazing resource if you're wanting to learn about the Pokemon games and the more specific things in them. Um, especially with like each individual Pokemon game. Because they've got they've got resources for like all of the Pokemon games. Like fucking all of them. For whatever you're probably gonna need. It's a great resource to start with. I highly recommend. If there are things that you're confused about, Serebi.net is great. That's where I learned most of what I know. Maybe I'll have to like start posting some of these things in the in the Discord. It'll be really helpful. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Of course. 
Um, I am more than happy to help people understand these games better. Because that, that, that's kind of what's cool about Pokemon is that, like, you know, if you're just playing through it, like, on your own like this, it is a very simple game, right? Like, you've got your tight matchups, you level up, you do your thing. But there is so much more to it than what you would get in a playthrough. You know, so it's it's simple, you know, it's simple enough to grasp on a playthrough for a kid to get, but as you get older, you start learning a lot more of the in in intricacies. And that's part of why Pokemon has such great staying power. And why, like, you know, they have, like, all the big tournaments every year. And probably, realistically, how this series was able to thrive as well as it does. It's, it's really... It's really fascinating, actually, in my opinion. The other fun thing about Pokemon is since they started doing the yearly releases, the new Pokemon games usually come out around my birthday. <laughs> so the new Pokemon games are oftentimes like a birthday present to me. Got a tight faded, let's go. Oh, Frankie leveled up. Your victory, there's nothing strange about it. Oh, be one with me, my Metatite. Man, okay, seeing the Psychic Girl reminds me that I want to get my hair cut. It's growing out. And truth be told, it's... I'm not liking the way it looks as much. Got a jar of honey. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> a couple of badoos. It's badoo, badoo, badoo. What, what was the joke Tifa made last night? Do badoo, 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 Hey, Jen! Credit to Tifa for that. Always credit Tifa for buns. For buns and puzzles. Let's see, we'll use confusion on the badoo. The badoo! There goes Badoo. On a different note, it has been really nice to be able to like celebrate my birthday week with you guys. And it's kind of interesting like, cause I'm thinking back to last year, like around this time. And there are, there's people that weren't here last year that are here this year. Um, and it's wild to see like, that I am starting to, like, have my own little community here. It's nice and cozy. I, I enjoy it. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Keish. Thank you. Thanks for healing my Pokemon after all the battles. I appreciate that. Welcome back to Route 205. Fairies! Do. Got pe Pekka, Pecha Berries, Oron Berries, and more Oron Berries. Hey, Jet P! <laughs> do, ba do, ba do, ba do. <laughs> oh, Gabby's playing Let's Go Pikachu. I caught up Weasel earlier, so I think I'm good. Okay. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to put Bell in front, because there's a bunch of fishers here. 
We're gonna battle the fishers. And I'm gonna try to, um... No. Just wanna see if there's anything hiding. I'm gonna see if I can't get her to level up. And maybe see if she has enough friendship to evolve. Fisher Joseph. God, he looks insane. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Oh, Goldine knows Peck, doesn't it? Are you gonna use Water Pulse? Do you not have access to Peck yet? See, okay, I knew it had Peck, which is super effective. In before horn drill, bruh, bruh. If that horn drilled, like I would have been so mad. If they had start, if horn drill happened, I would have been so mad. Fisher Andrew with six Pokemon. They're all gonna be Magic Carps, aren't they? Magic Carp. 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 Okay, we'll, we'll just absorb. Whoa, it's a one-hit wonder! It used absorb! Splash gonna do damage. Okay, you know what makes me laugh about Splash? Fucking... It's affected by the move Gravity. So if you use Gravity, Splash becomes not only useless, but unusable. Bryson leveled up. I have 91,050p in the game. Is that a lot? That's a good amount. Yeah, that that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. You'll, you'll be set pretty good. That, that should make you set for a while. Especially with how early in the game you are. Because you said you were on, like, what, Route 4? We'll just keep killing the carps. That's a good amount. Use it for Pokeball, Spulsions, and Folios. Listen to Tifwa. Full heals are the are the best like status healing item to get because they can heal any of the statuses. So like you know you get like your ice heals and stuff, and those are only specific to those statuses that you can use them. But full heals you can use them on any status. I don't buy many items, and the kind of person that doesn't use objects they're usable. I, I understand where you're coming from with that. I can be the same way. We're like, you you hoard all of the items until late game and then you have to constantly throw away items because your bag's full all the time. I play like that too. I get where you're coming from. Let's see. Fisher Zachary. With a magic card. Great! Great! 
Well, and especially, um... Once you get the camping set, you can pretty much fully heal your Pokemon whenever you fucking want. I'm seeing there's like discs of moves, but appears to be some infinite and others, you know. Yes, yes. Um, the in so in English, there's the TMs, the technical machines, and the TRs, technical records. Um, and yeah, so the machines, you the TMs, you can use as much as you want, but the TRs break after one use. It's really common to get the TRs from like high level. Dynamax raids. And you can, like, buy them from places, too. Um, the TRs, the ones that, um, that are usable, um, that you use them once and they're gone, tend to have better moves attached to them because they're breakable. But I would say take advantage of the, of the, of those as much as you can. It is nice to be able to teach your stuff different moves. In Spanish are DT and MT. Oh, okay. That, that's interesting that it's different like that. Welcome to Eterna City. I want my Badoo to evolve. Time is it? It's just after two. When it gets closer to three o'clock, I have to stop. What do we have here? Oh, underground man. Um, yeah, I would like to talk to you, please. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Orberg. I work at the mining museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind, you'll be digging up treasure in no time. I am the first one to have started digging out the Grand Underground. I am. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your hand to the deal and put it to good use. Fuck yeah. Should I buy 457 Pokeballs? <laughs> Honestly, I would say maybe buy like... 10 or 20? And then, like, because there's better Pokeballs you can buy. Because, like, okay, I know in Pokemon Go you can only get, like, Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. But there are other types of Pokeballs that exist that are better with, um, with certain types of things. So, like, there's Net Balls that work good on Bug and Water types. There's Dusk Balls that are good if you're playing at night or if you're in a cave. Um... I can't think of some of the other ones right now, but yeah, there, there's a lot. <laughs> Got the Explorer kit. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged Spelunker. Just follow my lead. I've seen videos and there's like a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of types of Pokeballs. First, go to the Grand Underground. Simply use your Explorer kit. They can't be used indoors or in a cave. Give it a try. I'm not doing this. Took away control. Hey! Hey, Case. This is your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a, There's a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man at Eternus City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going now. See you around. Spin. Then there's useless Pokeballs and very helpful Pokeballs. I just need to understand the formula. Yeah, and it'll tell you in the description what it's good for. Let's dig in the wall. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh, there's a note tech inside the Explorer kit. Digging for fossils. I've put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your explorer kit. 
Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff from the walls. Before the wall comes tumbling down, that is. I'm sure you can do it. Good luck, youngster. Something pinged in the wall too confirmed. Okay. So this used to be on the touchscreen on the DS. Aha, a thing. Perfect. There's, there's, it said there's two things in the wall. So if you see like the, the crack on the top, once that gets all the way to the side, then um, the wall collapses and you can't dig anymore. How dare you? What the hell? Where's the other thing? Oh, it was right there. Okay, cool. So what do we get? A green sphere L and a heart scale. Okay, cool. Yeah, I used to do this all the time on the DS. I hope that in handheld mode you can do this with the touch screen. There's another one here-ish. Sit down. No, it's up. <gasps> Yes. We got mana fee. Uh, no, not this time. If I was playing, I'd try for the spirit tomb. Ooh. Okay, yeah, actually, let, let's let's do that. Might as well. Fuck you. Ooh, there's a thing. Not quite. There we go. Got a thing. Let's try up here. Fuck you. Egg. Where's the other thing? We didn't find the other thing. What do we get? A moonstone. Not bad. Yeah, let's see if I can't find the thing for Spiritomb. Let's see, two things in the wall. Strat was to do the corners. Mm. Fuck you. Oh, there's a thing. Okay, um. Okay, so we found one thing. There's no way I'm finding the other thing. I think Spirit Tomb is in that other city, Salacion. Yeah, but I, don't you have to get the thing from here? Like, don't don't you have to get the rock from here? Let's see, Spirit. Let's see how to catch Spirit Tomb in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, it has... You have to... You have to talk to friends down here, but you get the actual item from over by Solacion. Okay, that's what it is. 
Okay, see, these are the new things in the game. They've got these, the biomes with the Pokemon that come at you. Let's see how overleveled this is. What? Oh, shit. 19? Okay, that's not horrible. Let me, um, I'm going to do a thing real quick. I've got Manaphy, and Manaphy is one of my favorite Pokemon, but then I'd have two mythicals on my team. Fucking how dare you! So let me let me know what you guys think. I'm a little torn. Ow, wow, ow, wow. You know, this isn't worth it. So is it just, just Gastrodon and Bidoofs, I guess? Let's do these things. Oh, okay, that's the button. Four. Okay, there's four things in this wall. Okay, there's the thing. Easy. Oh, here's another thing. Ooh, and another thing. Okay, um... Cool, um... We found all four things! So we got Luigi, <laughs> we got two blue sphere S, a red sphere S, and a green sphere Luigi. Oh wow, y'all really want me to use Piplup. Okay. Valid. Bad, valid, Man Manaphy is coming out of the party. Uh, we'll grab Birdly. We'll put Birdly back in the party. Or else they gotta be on the team. No, to valid. But it's R. Valid. Ralsei is staying on the team. We got two things in the wall. Fuck you. Oh, there's a thing. Ooh, here's a thing. Nice. Okay, you contributed. I think you were the only one to vote, Marky, so I feel bad that you used that much channel points. Got a blue sphere and a smooth rock. Um, let's see, we'll do like a little bit more in the underground.
Well, tail goes deep as weight. Gotta keep the best goat penguin. Fair enough. Okay, so this is like a cave thing. I guess we're... Let's try to catch a Pachirisu. I was too busy telling people my excitement, my bad. No worries, you have the same opinion. Do not worry. No, no worries. Oh, it can't get paralyzed. Fuck you. And that didn't do shit. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's let's switch over to Bryson then. I do want to try to catch this thing. How dare you. No, I'm okay with that. Catcherisu, okay. the VGC legend, trying to paralyze them. You're crazy. Fair enough. Should I use Pachirisu as my electric type instead of Lexia then? want a rock type Eevee. Rock type Eevee would be awesome. Da, 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 da. How fucking dare you? Now you'll need Lux, right? Okay. Majerisu will betray you for Garchomp. Oh my god. Thank you. Birdly leveled up. Frawlsy leveled up. Birdly leveled up again. Wait, no, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it makes electricity with pouches in its cheeks and shoots charges from its tail. It lives atop trees. All right, we're not going to use it. Oh, we got Psyducks in here. I haven't caught a Psyduck yet. Whack. Shine. Oh, wow. In my ideal world. Oh! I just realized Badoo has natural cure. That's awesome, actually. I didn't even realize that. Fuck you! And it's gone. <laughs> no, well. God, that made me. So I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm not gonna use Psyduck, but. I don't particularly want to use Psyduck. I said I do not want to use the Psyduck, thank you. Um, you know, let's just attack this Geodude. 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 Wide guard, interesting. Too bad Absorb is not affected by that. And you're not done yet. Oh, because it's got Sturdy. Um, Sturdy, in ever since Gen 5, um, if a Pokemon if it if the Pokemon would have been knocked out in one hit by a move and it was at full health, 
it'll leave one HP left. Bell leveled up. Bryson leveled up. And Birdly leveled up. <sighs> we got Shanks down here. We've got Badoo down here. Okay, we'll move on. What do we have in here? Grassland cave. I mean, you're new. Cascoon. Not against Bell. Um. What's that, Jirachi? Poison is weak against poison is weak against ground um psychic. Are there other types it's weak against? I think it's just ground and psychic. Yeah. Catch the fucking thing. Oh well. No, leave me alone. There's a fucking Absol here? There's a Roselia here. level. Nah, since it's lower level, I'm not gonna bother. You know what? Ju just for you. Just for you, Tifa. Let's see if we can catch the Absol. Under pressure. Protect. This is going to be a pain in the ass. God, this Absol is living up to your emote. shouldn't kill. Well, it's not gonna kill if it keeps fucking protecting. Struggle bug. Jitter bug. Okay, I was correct this time. I'm not a fan of that. We're gonna try Absorb. Yeah, that didn't do shit. God damn.
Okay. I'll try my one great ball. Umo goi goi fighties out. 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 Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, that cricket tune was hella lucky. Okay, I got the thing. Okay, let's do another... Do, do, do. Let's see, uh, four things in the wall. You. Oh wait, is there something there? There is. Oh wait, there's something here. Um Fuck you. Oh, we got something here, okay. Ah, I tried. Pokemans, hi Lost Context, nice to see ya. Welcome, welcome to the Pokemans. Let me, uh, let me show you my team so far. So we've got Belle the Badoo. I'm trying to evolve her into a Rosalia. We got Bryson the Luxio. We've got Jirachi. We've got Frankie the Cricketune. And Ralsei the Pr the Prinplup. And Birdly the Staravia. That's what we got right now so far. Uh, I'm in the underground right now, just kind of sc screwing around and not doing the main story like I'm supposed to. Which is fine, I suppose. Now uh, let's go up this way. Where is it? There it is. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Okay, four things in the wall. One thing. Ooh, another thing. Okay, um. There's the other thing. Okay. Oh, you're playing Animal Crossing. Nice. I was playing earlier this morning. Oh, there's a thing. Um. That looks fancy. Let's try over here. We got a thing! Found all things! What do we get? A small green sphere, a Luigi sphere, a pale sphere, and a prism sphere. Okay, just a bunch of spheres. That's fine, I guess. Let's check out these last couple of biomes over here. What's this one? Swampy. Swinub? I mean, I would be more keen to use a Swinub if I didn't just use Mammoth Swine the last time I played through Heart Gold and Soul Silver.
Got the swine of. Nice. Nah. Cool. And there's a Scroopy here. I've never used a Scroopy before. But I've got Cricketune in my party. Mm. Well, we'll see if I can even catch this thing first. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Let's see, um, who would be good to send out? Let's send out Bryson. Drapion is pretty powerful and it loses its bug typing, but I get you. What level does it evolve? Fucking dare you. Drachi, I mean, I don't want to kill it. How dare you. It doesn't evolve until level 40. Know then. Wow, it didn't even shake. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Okay. Yeah, let's bring out Jirachi. Use a swift. He keeps trying to be like, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Let's try this again. Yeet. I got it. Okay, it doesn't evolve to level 40, and that's kind of annoying. Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna say no, since it doesn't evolve to level 40. At least a little better. Okay, what else do we got in here? In in the sh in the Shrek in the Shrek dance party lane land. Its ability is fire, but best for Nuzlocks. Okay. Should I make it a pull? You can make a pole yourself. Battle armor can't get crit on. Oh, that's right. Keep your team. Okay. <gasps> oh, look what we got. I've never used a crow gunk before.
Yeah, get paralyzed, bitch. over to Jirachi. I actually kind of wouldn't mind using Crow Gunk. Because here's the thing, like, I know that, like, there are a lot of people that like to do the, oh, I'm going to make a set team and I'm just going to use that the entire game. I don't do that and I just kind of make the team as I go. Usually if it's, like, a new, like, a new Pokemon game I'm playing... Um, I usually try to do the ones that are new to that generation. Let's use Crow Gunk. I kind of want to use Crow Gunk. It inflates its poison sacks and makes a blubbering sound to intimidate foes. You know what? Since it's a frog, I'm gonna name it VK V Kitten. Since it's a frog and she's got a frog chat in the server. We're gonna add it to my party. I'm God. Yeah, I kinda wanna take out Birdly. Yeah. That works. No, leave me alone. I legit have never used a crow gunk. So this is the spacious cave. Alright, I guess. We'll kick this Geodude's ass. Why not? 45? Okay. We'll stay in the underground until I have to get ready for work. And then I might... I might grind off screen while I'm at work. Um... Uh, you know what? I don't know if I want to take my Switch with work with me today. Because I've got the fucking, um... Parade shift. That wouldn't really be good to deal with. Today, yes, today is my last day working for the mouse. For the rat. Um, so, I had a group shift for today, which means that, like, you're an extra person. Call in to see what you're actually be working. And so I called them yesterday while I was at SeaWorld. And I had to leave a voicemail, because, like, it didn't even ring. I was basically like, hey, I'm just calling about my group shift. You know, tomorrow's my last day, so I really, really want to be at Monorail, if possible. And she called me back relatively quickly, and she's like, Hey, this is Debbie. So the only thing I can give you for Monorail is starting at 5.30, and you'll be at Monorail until 8. And then you do a parade shift. You, you go to help with the... I guess, I'm assuming it's for Pyro. I'm trying to solve the monolith treasure thingy. What's strong against Sinister? Okay, um... Sinister. I'm not sure if you mean ghost or dark. If it's dark, then, um... It's gonna be fighting... And, um... Okay, dark. Okay, cool. So if it's dark, that's gonna be bug, fighting and fairy types. Sinistee, dark and ghost. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's gonna, so yeah, I'm, yeah, dark, for dark types, it's fighting, um, shit, fighting bug and fairy. Yeah, thank you. I lost my brain. Let's explore some more. So, three things. Okay. Ooh, a 
Okay, um... Okay, perfect. Ooh, okay, found a couple of things. What the hell is this? What is that? Blue sphere L, red sphere S. A pretty stone box? It started to shine. A haunch crow statue? What's that for? Oh, what? What's going on? Okay, three confirmed. For the underground secret base. Okay. Why was the diglet there? I have all the weakness of the monoliths, but now I don't know what to do. Honestly, if you keep walking around, the game will tell you what to do. Oh, here's the other one. Damn it! You're asking why an underground mole is underground. Okay, but then there was like the sparkle thing. I don't know what that's for. Pretty stone box. A mobile statue. It's also been a while since I've played through um, Galar. So, four in the wall, okay. Aha. Oh, okay, I kind of want to try to get this. Interesting. That looks like a dragon type. Oh, there's four things in the wall. Oh, here's the last thing. Nice. So what do we get? Blue sphere, green sphere, red sphere. I think also if you look at the town map, it'll tell you where you're supposed to go. So we're going to have some kind of dragon type thing? Altaria. Okay. Lady. Let's see. Two things in the wall. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh... That's it. So what do we get? Blue sphere? So, some kind of water type. A Psyduck. I guess. Okay, let's see what's over in this area. Fountain Spring Cave. Swagger. Swiggity swooty. Gastrodon's coming for my booty. Okay. I paralyze it. I guess I could try to catch it since I don't have one. Uh, 
Ouchie, ouch. DM87 Shofu intensifies. <laughs> Hell yeah. Does he still make competent? Sweetie sweetie, Gastro wants that booty. Sweetie sweetie, I come for your booty. Oh man, my throat feels really weird. Okay, doing some good damage. Oh, he's streaming right now. That's cool. Is he streaming this? I'm glad he's still making content, like... Because I know Hayden really slowed down on his upload stuff for a while. God damn it! recover again. Let's try to catch it. Man, that was so annoying. I got it! Oh, Frankie leveled up. Nice. That's what we like to see. It apparently had a huge shell for protection in ancient times. It lives in shadow, shadow tidal pools where it wants to booty. Okay, well, I'm not gonna use it. I got it! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm here for it. Hey, let's get the hell out of this biome. Mm, I can maybe go for like... Okay, this will be the last thing. Oh, there's something here. Here's the thing. One more thing. Damn it. Maybe over here. Haha. -ha. All things. Pale sphere, green sphere, prism sphere, green sphere. Cool. We need to get out of here. I've seen you've gone underground. Well done. Take these as a reward. Oh, red sphere? Blue sphere, green sphere. There are apparently some Pokemon in the grand underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. The road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Thanks, Ming. Okay, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. Okay, and then we save it to game. 
save the game and then we wrap up stream thanks for hanging out with me today i really really appreciate it um probably no stream tonight because i'm gonna be home late um but hopefully later this evening uh let's see who do we want to raid 